Welcome back to the channel and today we have 10 knives that would make outstanding EDC knives. Most of these I've reviewed and tested and I've carried all these for a good while. So let's get let's get right into it. First up, we have the, the drop bear, and not just any drop bear, the drop bear with the micarta scales. I absolutely love this one. This was probably my most carried uh, of the drop bears. The second would be the LC200N one. These are actually back in stock now. They were out of stock for a while. Love that, that stone wash. It's like a mirror stone wash on here. So this one's awesome. Got titanium scales. I don't love the color on here, but I do like the finish on the titanium. It's like a, almost like a cracked ice finish. Very, very cool looking. Uh, and this one comes with a milled titanium clip. But this one, I uh, just love it. It's, it's nice and lightweight. Love the blade shape. Useful for pretty much anything you can do because it has belly, but it's not crazy belly. You got a low tip here. You get that tip down on what you want to cut. And then you have the adjustable crossbar lock, which they call the clutch lock. And it's just an outstanding, outstanding folder. Love the drop bear. One of my favorite Kaisers. <clears throat> Next up, mine's heavily modded, but I'm talking about the Sage 5 in general. Uh, this one happens to be the Blade HQ exclusive one in M4, but I, I saw recently that they're discontinuing the Sage 5, the original Sage 5 with the S30V steel and the, um, the G10 carbon fiber mix compression lock one. It's on sale for, I think, $149 right now. Yeah, I just, I've always loved the Sage, the, the original Sage 1 with the, I think it's Sage 1 or Sage 2, whichever one's got the integral lock, titanium integral lock, um, was my first titanium knife I've ever bought. And I've always loved the Sage. I personally love the Sage series more than the Power 3. It just fits my hand way better, and I just like the blade a little bit more. Excellent, excellent knife. <laughs> they ever bring back which I don't I think they discontinued the blade HQ exclusive ones um, That that's an awesome one. I see they're making a lightweight one with Mac magna cut not magna cut Maximet soon That's gonna be a nice one. So any of the sage fives outstanding outstanding knife comes with wire pot clip These are aftermarket titanium scales. I've got from Parson blade works. He also sells my Carter ones so if you get the lightweight one, you can, if you don't want the lightweight scales anymore, you can change them out for some sweet aftermarket scales. Love the Sage 5. <clears throat> All right, the next is the Kaiser Clipper. And this is the newest clipper with the aluminum scales, gold hardware, and uh, where is it at? It's on this side. CPM 3V blade. Yeah, the clipper kind of surprised me because I'm not really that big on front flippers now this one's done perfectly it's got the little roll around on it it's got grippy jumping on it so if i want to do the the reach around i can the roll the thumb back you can it's just a uh an easy to maneuver knife easy to manipulate and it's got a very neutral handle so no matter which way i grab it it's comfortable and i think it looks nice Blade shape, outstanding. It's just a gradual belly all the way to that tip, and it's not a crazy belly. Yeah, overall, very cool knife. Slicey, too. Full flat grind, and if this one isn't your jam, they have a micarta one with 154CM for, like, I think $15 less than this. But awesome knife, deep carry, tip up left or right-handed pocket clip. <clears throat> the next one I reviewed not too long ago. And I still love it, and that is the AM8, uh, what is it, Morad, I'm sorry. <laughs> the AM8 knives Morad. This right here is an outstanding value. Outstanding. You get S90V steel, titanium with this nice milling inlaid with carbon fiber, crown spine, very, very useful drop point blade, milled tie clip. Beautiful action, good front flipping action, and you can use that fuller to uh, reverse flick. Comfortable, it's nice and slim in the pocket. I think these are like 150 bucks. That's insane. And I've tested their S90V, and it's definitely no slouch. If you didn't see my review of this one, go check that out. It did, it did great. 
and uh, pretty much all their S90 that I've tested. You know, definitely for the price, they're definitely, you definitely get your money's worth with these. Another one that I reviewed this year, <laughs> well, a lot of these I reviewed this year, but the uh, Flytanium Arcade. You know, <laughs> during the review, I was still kind of iffy on this knife. You know, it's kind of pricey for what it is, but it's their first folder. We know there was a lot of R&D that went into making this folder. And um, they also had to license out the uh, Demco Shark Lock. But I have to admit, I love the knife. This thing performed just excellently. Some of the best S35VN I think I've tested. Now, it's not the sliciest because it is a little thick behind the edge, but it has a thin edge bevel on it. And this thing's still almost uh, hair shaving sharp, and I cut a lot of stuff with this thing. Not to mention, it's fidgety. And if you're a lefty, I, I'm pretty sure you can order this off their site and in the notes Ask them to tap it for lefties. I'm pretty sure you can do that. Highly customizable. Uh, you can change these uh, inlays out. You can put different color titanium studs on there. You can put a backspacer. Uh, I'm not sure if they have a clip yet, but I'm sure they will. And I'm pretty sure I've heard that they're coming out with uh, titanium scale replacements if you like, because these are aluminum. But I like the aluminum. I, I don't need titanium on this. It's not a frame lock or anything. And overall, I like it. Look at that nice stone wash on it. Beautiful action. Snappy action. Love it. <laughs> All right. Next one. I don't think I've showed this one much on the channel. But the Cold Steel 8010 Lite. This is the one with the FRN scales. Now, if I didn't know and I didn't really, really inspect them, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between this and the G10. At least, I mean, I have both of them, and I, I don't really see that much of a difference. Um, this one's going to be getting upgraded soon, though. This time, I, whenever I, I bought it, I, I wanted to try out the Tonto, and I've been enjoying it. You get a hollow grind here, flat grind up here in the front, that robust tip. If I was still working in the chemical plant industries as an operator, this would be the knife I'd be carrying. This thing is a beast. Very comfortable in hand. Very, very smooth action. Very, very smooth. Riding on washers. Yeah, love the action of the 8010. Very satisfying. Now, <clears throat> pocket clip's a little tight. Uh, but other than that, I love the knife. The, <laughs> the uh, 8010 lights are in Aus 10A. I have tested uh, Cold Steel's Aus 10A, and it performs excellent, especially at the price tag these are going for. You can get them on Amazon. Just make sure the seller is coming from Cold Steel. You don't want to get a counterfeit, which I've never gotten before, but <laughs> it lists the seller when you're buying something, and uh, I always buy from Cold Steel, and you can get this for like 80-something bucks. Sometimes even cheaper whenever they're doing their major sales, but love the AD10. Um, I, I probably, you know, if I had to choose one of them, wait, I have my other. If I had to choose between the drop point and the Tanto, I'm going to go drop point. This is my favorite blade shape of, the, of both of them, but uh, the Tanto, as a work knife, I could definitely uh, find some good use for it. All right, <clears throat> next one. This is a big one. The Off Grid Knife Stinger XL. I think it's a four inch blade on here. Spear point. Nice and comfortable. Actually, I think it's a bayonet grind. Yeah, bayonet grind because it stops right here. It don't matter. Nice reinforced tip there. Uh, during the testing, I, I, I somewhat abuse this knife. I think the OEM on this one's Best Tech, and it's a very well-made knife. Nice contoured scales, beautiful action, nice flipping action, and it's in 154 CM steel. Every off-grid knife that I've ever uh, tested or had was top quality. I've had quite a few of their uh, knives, and yeah, I love a lot of their stuff. This is the last one I think I reviewed on the channel, the, the Singer XL. I need to contact them. 
All right. <laughs> this next one has really, really been blowing me away. And I think I saw they have one left on Blade HQ. And that is a Two Knives Wrath. Now, I'm going to be honest, the one that they have on Blade HQ, I really, really want. So somebody buy it so I don't go buy it myself. <laughs> ah, I still might buy it myself. But this thing, it, it kind of, it, it reminds me of maybe like a uh, more EDC friendly Chavez. This hollow grind right here is so nice and thin. I mean, thin right here. It slices like a dream. Then you have the flat grind up here that's still pretty thin. But this, man, oh man, is nice. Frag titanium, milled tie clip, S90V steel. Beautiful, beautiful action. The front flipper, if you like front flippers, this one's done excellently. It's easy to manipulate. I enjoy the thumb stud action. Yeah, overall, outstanding knife. Contoured scales, titanium backspacer. Beautiful, beautiful knife. I hope they do another run of these. Yeah. <clears throat> another two year that I reviewed that I, I still love is the two year knives mutt. Now I don't love the color of this mic uh the carbon fiber. I would have rather the red, white, and blue one. But the mutt is such a, a a nice knife. It's a perfect size for my medium sized hands. You know, if you had larger, extra large hands, it may be a little small for you. But for me. Got a flipper, thumb hole, both of them work great. Nice little shield there. Contouring, mill tie clip, S90V steel, and such a useful blade shape. All his designs, this is a collaboration with CM Knife Designs. All of his stuff that I own at least, I, th I think I own almost every one of his designs. Every one of them is super useful. They even put the lock, the lock relief cut in the inside. Excellent job there. Two has been killing it this year. Uh, I think I've, I liked every knife. I think I, the first knife that I reviewed from them was the MV4. Loved it, and then these two came right after. That's another great one, the MV4. Last but certainly not least, we have the Kaiser. Was it the Coniferous? You know, at first I was on the fence about this one because you got the micarta and then the titanium and it's liner lock. Now, of course, my my OCD tendencies are saying, no, I don't like that. I wish it was the same on both sides. But as a EDC knife, as a good cutting tool, this thing's nice. Very, very nice. Love the blade shape. You know, if y'all hadn't noticed, that's my favorite blade shape. That, uh, that point is in line with the center of the pivot so it's right there to where i can easily get down onto something do a drag cut if i need to pierce into a box or something 154 cm steel this thing has very very nice action very snappy action flipping action works great comfortable in hand deep carry pocket clip reversible yeah all these knives would be great in an EDC roll. Uh, if you ever, if you ever uh, thought any of these knives looked uh, interesting, give one of them a try. You won't be disappointed. Love them. <laughs> so if there's any knives that you've bought in the last year or two that you keep coming back to over and over again, let me know down in the comments. Especially, you know, if it's something that I maybe never heard of or never tried out and you know you can vouch for it i might i might just give it a try i love i my whole point of this channel is to find you know great knives at you know best price i could find them just basically i don't want you to have to buy junk i've done, i i know i did that way too often early on in my knife collecting career <laughs> and uh I, I'm, I wish somebody could help me out earlier. So there you go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps, uh, you know, it helps out the channel. 
And do me a favor, if you have the time, watch another video of mine. Doesn't matter which one. That really helps uh, get my reach out there. All right, guys and girls, I hope everybody's having a great, great day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.